A lot of us are paranoid about how artificial intelligence might negatively impact our lives. However, the present picture is thankfully more positive. Hi everyone, I'm Zuleika from Edureka and I welcome you to this session on artificial intelligence applications. I'll be discussing how AI has impacted various fields like marketing, finance, gaming, agriculture and so on. This will be your top 10 series, so make sure you stick till the end. Also, don't forget to subscribe to Edureka YouTube channel in order to stay updated on trending technologies. So let's explore how artificial intelligence is helping our planet and at last benefiting humankind. So at number 10, we have artificial intelligence in artificial creativity. Now, have you ever wondered what would happen if an artificially intelligent machine tried to create music and art? Here's a short audio clip of a classical piece. So this short audio was composed by an AI based system called MuseNet. Now MuseNet is a deep neural network that can generate four minute musical compositions with 10 different instruments and can combine styles from country to Mozart and to the Beatles. MuseNet was not explicitly programmed with an understanding of music, but instead it discovered patterns of harmony, rhythm and style by learning on its own. Another creative product artificial intelligence is a content automation tool called wordsmith wordsmith is a natural language generation platform that can transform your data into insightful narratives tech giants such as yahoo microsoft and tableau are using wordsmith to generate around 1.5 billion pieces of content every day let's move on to our next field which is ai in social media now ever since social media has become our identity We've been generating an immeasurable amount of data through chats, tweets, posts, and so on. And whenever there's an abundance of data, AI and machine learning are always involved. In social media platforms like Facebook, artificial intelligence is used for face verification, wherein machine learning and deep learning concepts are used to detect facial features and tag your friends. Deep learning is used to extract every minute detail from an image by using a bunch of deep neural networks. Machine learning algorithms are used to design your feed based on your interests. Another such example is Twitter's AI, which is being used to identify hate speech and terroristic language in tweets. It makes use of machine learning, deep learning, and natural language processing to filter out offensive content. According to a recent survey, the company discovered and banned 300,000 terroristic linked accounts 95% of which were found by non-human, artificially intelligent machines. Moving on to our next field, we have AI in chatbots. Now, these days, virtual assistants have become a very common technology. Almost every household has a virtual assistant that controls the home. A few examples include Siri, Cortana, which are gaining popularity because of the user experience they provide. Amazon's Echo is an example of how AI can be used to translate human language into desirable actions. This device uses speech recognition and natural language processing to perform a wide range of tasks on your command. It can do more than just play your favorite songs. It can be used to control the devices at your house, book cabs for you, make phone calls, order your favorite food, check the weather conditions and so on. Another example is a newly released Google's virtual assistant called Google Duplex that has astonished millions of people. Not only can it respond to calls and book appointments for you, it adds a human touch. It uses natural language processing and machine learning algorithms to process human language and perform tasks such as manage your schedule, control your smart home, make reservations and so on. Next, we have artificial intelligence in autonomous vehicles. For the longest time, self-driving cars have been a buzzword in the AI industry. The development of autonomous vehicles will definitely revolutionize the transportation system. Companies like Waymo conducted several test drives in Phoenix before deploying their first AI-based public ride-hailing service. The artificial intelligence system collects data from the vehicle's radar cameras, GPS, and cloud services to produce control signals that operate the vehicle. Advanced deep learning algorithms can accurately predict what objects in the vehicle's vicinity are likely to do. 
This makes way more cars much more effective and safer. Another famous example of autonomous vehicles are Tesla's self-driving cars. AI implements computer vision, image detection and deep learning to build cars that can automatically detect objects and drive around without human intervention. Elon Musk, the founder of Tesla, talks a ton about how AI is implemented in Tesla's self-driving cars and autopilot features. He quoted that Tesla will have fully self-driving cars ready by the end of the year and a robo-taxi version, one that can ferry passengers without anyone behind the wheel. Tesla's autopilot software goes beyond driving the car where you tell it to go. If you're not in the mood for talking, autopilot will check your calendar and drive you to your scheduled appointment. That sounds pretty amazing. Moving on to our next application, we have applications of artificial intelligence in space exploration. So this is one of the most interesting fields in which artificial intelligence is being implemented. Space expeditions and discoveries always require analyzing vast amounts of data. Artificial intelligence and machine learning is the best way to handle and process yield. So after rigorous research, astronomers use artificial intelligence to go through years of data obtained by the Kepler telescope in order to identify a distant eight planet solar system. This was accomplished by using AI technology. Artificial intelligence is also being used for NASA's next rover mission to Mars, which is the Mars 2020 rover. The Aegis, which is an AI based Mars rover is already on the red planet. The rover is responsible for autonomous targeting of cameras in order to perform investigations on Mars. This proves how far AI has reached. Moving on to our next field, artificial intelligence in the gaming field. Over the past few years, artificial intelligence has become an integral part of the gaming industry. In fact, one of the biggest accomplishments of AI is in the gaming industry. I'm sure all of you have heard of DeepMind's AI-based AlphaGo software. DeepMind's AI-based AlphaGo software, which is known for defeating Lee Saddle, the world champion in the game of Go, is considered to be one of the most significant accomplishments in the field of artificial intelligence. Shortly after the victory, DeepMind created an advanced version of AlphaGo called the AlphaGo Zero, which in turn defeated AlphaGo in an AI to AI face off. Unlike the original AlphaGo, which DeepMind trained over time by using large quantities of human knowledge and supervision, the advanced system AlphaGo Zero taught itself to master the game. Other examples of AI in gaming include the first encounter assault reckon, which is popularly known as Fear, is basically a first person shooter video game. So what makes this game special? The actions taken by the opponent AI are unpredictable because the game is designed in such a way that the opponents are trained throughout the game and never repeat the same mistakes. So basically they get better as the game gets harder. This makes the game very challenging and prompts the players to constantly switch strategies and never sit in the same position. Moving on to our next application, we have artificial intelligence in banking and finance. We all know that trading mainly depends on the ability to predict the future accurately. Machines are great at this because they can crunch a huge amount of data in a short span. Machines can also learn to observe patterns in past data and predict how these patterns might repeat in the future. An example of this is Japan's leading brokerage house, Nomura Securities, which has reluctantly been pursuing one goal, that is to analyze the insights of experienced stock traders with the help of computers. So after years of research, Nomura is set to introduce a new stock trading system. The new system stores a vast amount of price and trading data in its computer. By tapping into this database of information, it will make assessments. For example, it may determine that current market conditions are similar to the conditions two weeks ago and predict how share prices will be changing a few minutes down the line. This will help to make better trading decisions based on the predicted market prices. AI in banking is growing faster than you thought. A lot of banks have already adopted artificial intelligence based systems to provide customer support, detect anomalies and credit card frauds. An example of this is HDFC Bank. 
HDFC Bank has deployed an AI based chatbot called Eva, which stands for Electronic Virtual Assistant. Since its launch, Eva has addressed over 3 million customer queries, interacted with over half a million unique users, and held over a million conversations. Eva can collect knowledge from thousands of sources and provide simple answers in less than 0.4 seconds, which is quite impressive. Moving on to our next field, we have artificial intelligence in agriculture. Now, here's an alarming fact. The world will need to produce 50% more food by 2050 because we're literally eating up everything. The only way this can be possible is if we use resources more carefully. With that being said, artificial intelligence can help farmers get more from the land while using resources more sustainably. Blue River Technology has developed a robot called Sea and Spray, which uses computer vision technologies like object detection to monitor and precisely spray weedicide on cotton plants. Precision spraying can help prevent herbicide resistance. Apart from this, the Berlin based agriculture tech startup called Peat has developed an application called Plantix that identifies potential defects and nutrient deficiencies in soil by using images. The image recognition app identifies possible defects through images captured by the user's smartphone camera. Users are then provided with soil restoration techniques, tips and other possible solutions. The company claims that its software can achieve pattern detection with an estimated accuracy of up to 95%. So the next field we're going to talk about is artificial intelligence in healthcare. When it comes to saving our lives, a lot of organizations and medical care centers are relying on AI. There are many examples of how AI in healthcare has helped patients all over the world. IBM's Watson for Health is helping healthcare organizations apply cognitive technology to unlock vast amounts of health data and power diagnosis. IBM has also developed AI software specifically for medicine. More than 230 healthcare organizations worldwide use IBM Watson technology. Google's DeepMind Health is another such example that is working in partnership with clinics, researchers and patients to solve real world healthcare problems. DeepMind has successfully developed a system that can analyze retinal scans and spot symptoms of sight threatening eye diseases. The technology combines machine learning and systems neuroscience to build powerful general purpose learning algorithms into neural networks that mimic the human behavior. Finally, we have artificial intelligence in marketing. We all know that marketing is a way to sugarcoat your product in order to attract more customers. We humans are actually quite good at sugarcoating, but what if an algorithm or a bot is built solely for the purpose of marketing a brand or a company? It would do a pretty awesome job. For example, let's consider the recommendations provided by Amazon. It's a known fact that 35% of Amazon's revenue is generated by its recommendation engine. Amazon makes use of AI and machine learning to recommend products to their customers. It uses recommendations as a targeted marketing tool to increase their revenue. There are different ways through which Amazon recommends products to you. For example, if you open up Amazon right now, you'll see a few sections like these. Right, you'll see something known as your recently viewed items and featured recommendations. Here, Amazon looks at the products that you've been browsing and recommends very similar products to you. You'll also see a section like customers who bought this item also bought this. Here, Amazon studies the shopping behavior of customers who have a similar shopping trend and displays items that have been purchased together in the past. All of this is carried out by using artificial intelligence and machine learning algorithms. Another famous example of recommendation systems is Netflix. Netflix uses machine learning to recommend movies to you based on the data it collects about you, such as your browsing history, your age, your location, and so on. It is also a known fact that over 75% of what you watch is recommended by Netflix. And what is the logic behind Netflix? It is machine learning, artificial intelligence, and deep learning. So guys, with this, we come to the end of this video on AI applications. Now that I've listed out a few domains in which artificial intelligence is being used the most, why don't you let me know in the comments which domain do you think AI will impact the most? 
so guys that's all from my side today until next time happy learning